Father, man, who's working for everybody, Father, as he decreases, and feeds on him, Father, just work for help. Would you feed us better with me? Father, I want to thank you, Father. The one who's going to leave you on the crowd of her, they have the answer to the sin, we're going to have the answer to the sin. Praise you, Lord.
And God has blessed you to the hearer, the reader, and most importantly, the doer of his holy word. Peace 
And heaven is in the name. It's healing in the name. And it's healing with his guns. So if I was scratchy, he healed by the blood of Jesus. The blood of the fish of this grace is murdered this morning. As we come this morning, Lord, knowing that you are the finish of our faith, you are Alpha and you are Omega, the beginning and end of our life. You are the creator of mankind everywhere, every dream and color. And the family that covers in here this morning, Father, some come for one thing, but some come for another. We come with the holy name, your name this morning. Father, we love us this morning, Lord. Visit the hospital, somebody, mother, and father, son, and daughter, lay there in distress. But Lord, you can heal this morning. You told us to cast our cares on you because you care so much about us. You brought us to this hour to say thank you. And I look back on my life, Lord, and said thank you for this hour, Lord. I remember when I was a little boy as a teenager coming to church all on Easter Sunday. And he said, I speak you for everyone. He said thank you, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you for right now in the name of Jesus. Look upon the heart of this morning, Father. Somebody needs you right now. Their hearts are heavy to burn in the light. You said, we were in good for a night, but joy coming in the morning. You said, joy in the Lord is a spirit. Somebody needs strength this morning, Father. Somebody is burning down this morning, Lord. Somebody is going through one problem and another. But Lord, you said, I ask me to receive. And sit in yourself, Father. And you don't know what we're hoping this morning, Lord. There's a touch right now, Lord. There's a touch right now. Look upon us this morning, Father. Look on, look on our pastors and families this morning, Father. Look on our social ministers this morning, Father. Look on our youth, look on the head of our church this morning. Look on the praise team and the singers of our song this morning. Oh, Father, I know how to play. Look at all of the drum and he beat the drum, beat the drum this morning. Look on our people and the dickens this morning, Father. We pray for them. We pray for them right now, Jesus. Look at the Bowden family this morning. Give us strength right now, Lord. You know, help us to touch right now. Give us strength in a time like this, Lord. Look at the Sarah Spencer family this morning as well, Lord. Look at the Sarah Spencer family right now. Look at the George family right now, Lord. The O'Neill family. Look at the Johnson family right now. Oh, Father God, just touch right now, Lord. Father, just touch right now. Touch right now. They didn't touch it this morning. Look upon them like the Seymour and the Miles family this morning. Look upon all the Seymour this morning, Father. Look upon the Hamilton family this morning. Look upon the Ross family this morning, Father. Just touch it, Lord. Lord, do what you do best. When man says, Lord, it's a yes to your will. Lord, just touch it now. Look upon the Lawson family this morning, Father. Look upon the Foster family right now, Lord. Touch it now in the name of Jesus. Father, look upon the being this morning, Father. Father, don't just kid him, but come up a little class, baby, and try to touch him this morning, Lord. Touch him right now, Lord. Touch his body. Then him is a favorite right now. Lord, we need you right now, Father. Every time that we need you in a time like this. Look on Mama on that street, touch her this morning, Father. Look on Mama on that street, touch her this morning, Father. Father, we thank you to touch right now. Look on Tony and Honor this morning, Father. Touch right now, the McDonald family, Father. Look on the Father, look on the right now, Lord. We need you, Father. Look on the other sister right now, touch her right now. Look on the Father, she's on the bed. Father, look on the bed. Father, look on the bed. Right look on the other right now, Father. Look on the other right now, Father. Touch by the bed together, my family. Family, pray together, stay together. Look on the bed, son, and the daughter, the father. Look on this morning. Look on my family this morning, Father. Father, look on the coffee family this morning, Father. The Hans family, Father. Stay in your right now, Father. Four weeks ago, Father. Put your arms on the Lord. We need you, Father. Look on the Tucker family, Father. Right now, in the name of Jesus. We need you, Lord. At a time like this. We know this is able to do anything but fail. We trust in you this morning, Father. Look on the ocean that they won't die this morning, Father. We just thank you for this day. Easter Sunday, Lord. You have risen, Lord. You have been in your life and Father. What kind of spirit will rise? And on the east side, the birth of this Father. Let us praise his name. Say, Hallelujah! The highest praise of all people to the earth. I call all men to the kingdom. I come this morning and say, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you for blessing me, Lord. I make you well today, Lord. Thank you for saving a sinner man like me. Father, I will thank you this morning. 
of them. Because they've been good to Jesus. As I saw it looked like you wanted to hide and get over. And what that we do is doing that you took in silence. And the call is
about Jesus, you know. There's just something about Jesus, you know. There's just something about Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and hallelujah. So after set up to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For a day, night horse, better than a thousand anywhere else. For I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Giving honor and glory to God the Father, to God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit for the great things that they have done in our lives. For what they're doing right now. And I want to tell you all that the book says there are some greater things that are to come. Amen? For our pastor of Reese, first lady, Sister Reese, Bird, Sister Bird, Carrigan, my wife. To these deacons, these brothers, and stands at our pastor's side and does the work of the church, to deaconesses, our sisters of the church, to each and every one of you, my father's children, members, visitors alike, we welcome you into the house of the Lord today. We come to give our Lord some glory, some honor, and praise. But this is a glorious day, isn't it? Yes. This is a triumphant day, yes. my brothers and sisters. We can praise the Lord that. Everything that he said would happen this day to commemorate those happenings in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The tomb was empty, y'all. The tomb was empty. That's something that we should all be shouting about. That, that's, just, that's something we should all be shouting about. Because if they went to that tomb on that resurrection morning and found that body still there, how many of y'all know we would still be lost in our sins? That's a terrible place. That's a terrible place. Amen. Amen. We're we'll glad. We're we'll glad that that didn't happen. We're we'll glad that when they rolled, when they when they got there, the stone was already rolled away. It means that Jesus had a visitation that night. Amen. And his body, his body was not there. So that lets us know that we all have victory in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 This morning, as I look out amongst the crowd here, I see some faces that are not here regularly. That means that you may have been a member here at one time and you moved away. That might mean that you have not visited with us ever before this day. But whichever way it is, we want to ask that you all would just, just stand for us so that St. John can welcome you all in a, in a blessed and glorious way. Any business with us today, I know we have that from you. Any business with you, please stand. On behalf of our pastor and priests, the ministerial staff and deacons, our family in this church, we want to say that you are very welcome. We are glad to see you, and we pray that whenever you are in the city, and if you ever feel like it, come on out and visit with us. We also like to say that if you're looking for a change of church home, Zion would like to say to you, what? Zion. Zion. So we welcome you here, whatever your past it is. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, at this time, service, uh, I always like to call for another song. <laughs> I don't think they're going to apply to this one. We're going to ask that you all would now prepare your hearts, your minds, Prepare, I like to say, your pockets and your pocketbooks as we come before the Lord to give back a little bit of what He's given unto us. Today, my brothers and sisters, I think that we can say that we know that He is He is the greatest giver of all time. Amen? Amen. He is the greatest giver of all time. And the gift that He's given us is His Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We can't beat that gift. We can't beat that giver no matter how we try. Amen? But this morning, we're going to be obedient to what the Lord says because we know that there's things in the church that needs upkeep. We know that there's ministries in the community that needs to be done. We know that we have a, 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 a uh, international ministry where we support our brothers and sisters in Haiti with our giving. So we have a, a, a long arm and we have some, some true blessings to, to be had. So my brothers and sisters, as the deacons prepare, uh, we're going to ask that you all. Yeah, also. So let us uh, 
Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning, Father, we are ever so thankful. Father God, for the blessings that you have bestowed upon us, Father God. Not only, Father God, today, but Father God, you have given us, Father God, time and time again. And Father God, right now, Father God, as we come to this service, Father God, that you have ordained this, this, this service, Father God, which you have called us to, Father God. Father, we know that there are missionaries, Father God, spreading the gospel to the end of the earth. And Father God, we know that when your gospel, Father God, has reached, Father God, those deep, dark jungles, Father God, when they've reached those desert places, when they've reached, Father God, those islands, Father God, that are clear in the middle of the sea. Father God, we know your word says, Father God, that your son will be coming back again. And Father God, today as we celebrate this Resurrection Sunday, Father God, heaven, coming back, Father God, as he took, Father God, the victory from death and the grave, the sting away, Father God, from, Father God, the victory of sin. Father God, he went down and he did what only he could do, Father God. And Father God, we remember your gift and giving your only begotten son. Now, Father God, we can say once only begotten son because, Father God, of what he did and the gift that he gave, Father God, now we all have the right we all have the right, Father God, the word says, to the tree of life. Meaning, Father God, that we are now co-heirs with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to all of your kingdom and all of his blessings, Father. And so, Father God, as we remember that on this Easter weekend, Father God, we just pray that our givings, Father God, will be sweet, sweet, Father God, will they be a sweet smelling savor in your nose. And Father God, we pray that as we give in this offering, we pray for each and every person that will give 